Hello, my name is Howard Rosen and I'm chairman of the World Wood Day Foundation. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 World Wood Day celebration. World Wood Day is an exciting and unique cultural event celebrated annually on March 21st to highlight wood as an eco-friendly and renewable biomaterial and to raise awareness about the key role wood plays in a sustainable world through biodiversity and forest conservation. We will examine, first, the historical and contemporary use of wood, including preservation of wooden heritage in different regions or countries in the world, the culture of wood in different societies as part of religion, literature, philosophy, and art. Third, the promotion of the use and culture of wood in societies and at all levels of education. And lastly, the education and promotion of the positive aspects of wood, such as the beauty and strength of wood and the benefits of wood to ecology and the environment and the historical and social aspects of wood. Wood is an environmental friendly and renewable biomaterial from nature and has played a crucial role in the development of human civilization and environment. World Wood Day celebrations have been held at different places around the world. The first one was in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and each year has been in a different place. The 2014 was in Fujian, China, 2015, Odin Pazari, Turkey, 2016, Kathmandu, Nepal, 2017, Long Beach, California, USA, 2018, Siem Reap, Cambodia, 2019, Graz, Austria, and it would have been held in Tokyo, Japan in 2020, but was canceled because of the pandemic. Each year's program has a theme. This year's theme is CO2 and wood. CO2 is released in the atmosphere by combustion of fossil fuels. Trees sequester carbon through photosynthesis. Wood products, sequester carbon, so we think of wood as an environmental product. Increased CO2 in the atmosphere is associated with global warming. Planting trees and fully stocking understocked forest land is one of the ways to address global warming. You will see the theme reflected in many programs presented today and throughout the year. Throughout this year, each month on the weekend near the 21st, programs will be presented that include tree planting, music, woodcraft, papercraft, architecture, design, children's events, furniture making, and multidisciplinary symposia. There will also be a regional events in compliance to the country's COVID-19 guidelines. All events will be posted to the World Wood Day website and World Wood Day social media. This will bring attention to the theme year-round and people can participate throughout the year. For example, we encourage everyone at home to plant a tree anytime during the year and send us their message with the name of the tree for us to share. This March 21st program will have tree planting, a live symposium, live wood turning, and live music. Finally, I would like to thank Mike Ho for his excellent vision and direction of World Wood Day and for his fantastic staff who do a wonderful job of implementing this vision. And remember the mantra of World Wood Day, wood is good, wood is good. Hello. On behalf of the International Union of Forest Research Organizations, it is my great pleasure to say a few words during the opening virtual ceremony of this year's World Wood Day, a global event held each year on March 21st in conjunction with the International Day of Forests. Thanks to the miracle of photosynthesis, through which all green plants produce carbohydrates using sunlight, atmospheric carbon dioxide, and water, 
trees and forests are able to store vast amounts of carbon in soils, roots, and very importantly, in wood. The theme of this year's World Wood Day, CO2 and Wood, highlights the role forests and trees play in helping us to deal with one of the most significant environmental challenges we have ever faced, climate change. Forests and trees are vitally important for so many reasons. They create and provide habitat for the overwhelming majority of the world's terrestrial and animal and plant species, making forest conservation essential for the future of our planet's biodiversity. At the same time, forests and long-lived wood products store carbon, helping to offset emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from human activities, notably fossil fuel production and use and land conversion. Forests and trees also improve the quality of life in our cities. They're responsible for providing the clean and abundant drinking water that we sometimes take for granted and provide a variety of recreational, educational, and health benefits to people. In these times of multiple environmental and public health crises, economic challenges, and political and social conflicts, we cannot afford to lose sight of the importance of forests and the countless benefits they provide. Deepening our scientific knowledge and fostering greater public awareness and appreciation of the environmental, economic, social, and cultural values of forests and forest products are critically important. As an organization representing more than 15,000 scientists in hundreds of universities and research centers in over 125 countries, UFRO is uniquely positioned to rise to this historic challenge. The global scientific collaboration that UFRO fosters enhances our understanding of the role of forests, trees, and forest products in both mitigating and adapting to climate change. It provides a solid foundation for forest landscape restoration approaches that are scientifically and technically sound, economically beneficial, and socially acceptable, and for improving the productivity and health of forests while also protecting biodiversity and the many environmental services that forests provide to people. This collaboration is also crucial for development of new and improved wood products used by industries and communities and for expanding our understanding of the social importance, cultural significance, and health benefits of forests and trees in both rural and urban areas. As in past years, World Wood Day 2021 celebrates the cultural, artistic, and spiritual values of forests and forest products, reminding us of the many ways they support the economies and distinctive identities of countless rural communities. This year, we focus on the special role that forests and sustainably produced wood can play in helping to solve the climate crisis. UFRO is grateful for the opportunity we have, we have had to work with the World Wood Day Foundation, the International Wood Culture Society, and other valued partners, including the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, Vienna, and the International Academy of Wood Science, to organize this year's World Wood Day Virtual Symposium in conjunction with the third UFRO Forest Products Culture Colloquium. This event, entitled CO2 and Wood, Carbon Capture and Storage in Forests, Wood, and Non-Wood Products, promises to be both highly informative and enjoyable, so I hope that many of you listening now will join us. I am confident that this year's World Wood Day virtual and local events will help to raise public awareness of the positive roles that wood plays in helping to solve the climate crisis, as well as the importance of sustainable forest management and biodiversity conservation. We look forward to con continuing our collaboration with the International Wood Culture Society for many years to come, and to helping to spread the central message of World Wood Day. Wood is good. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Kilian O'Sullivan from Ireland. I am Anis Maani, I am from Jordan and I live in Spain. I'm Shamina Cartanilita and I'm from Argentina. My name is John van der Kolk and I'm from Australia. Welcome to World Wood Day 2021. 
We are the design team behind this year's collaboration project, Geo3. We can all be together this year, so we insist we invite you to participate from wherever you are in the world. And this is the Geo3. We want you to make one so that we can still collaborate, even though we're apart. You can make it any size. You can make it from recycled wood. You can make it unique to you. My addition to the geo tree will be a sprouting seed that will be suspended inside the cube. And then share your geo tree to Instagram using the hashtag #wwdgeotree, tagging where you are in the world. Follow the instructions on our website and Instagram to make your own geo tree. We hope you join us and become a part of World Day 2021. We look forward to see what you create. Hi, Theo the Woodturner here. Welcome to my workshop. Today I want to tell you about World Wood Day. It's celebrated every year on the 21st of March. This year is a little different because there's going to be a virtual symposium so that everybody can still come together but it will be online. Now the theme this year is carbon dioxide and wood and wood as carbon storage. And uh, wood, of course, it's a natural renewable raw material that's derived from carbon dioxide. So the symposium it's going to be held in to emphasize the importance that harvested, long-lived forest products play in mitigating climate change. And of course, it's important that society continues to value wood-based products. If you're interested in wood and the planet, why not come along to the symposium to get an even better understanding of the role of wood in our day-to-day -day world and environment. Now, I've got right here a piece of cowrie, ancient New Zealand cowrie. Uh, it's over 40,000 years old. It was given to me by international uh, woodturner Terry Scott when I was over in New Zealand for a symposium. Uh, that year as well, I went to China for World Wood Day and uh, we did a two-week tour of China. It was incredible. And four years later in 2018, I got to go to Cambodia and Laos to celebrate World Wood Day. And I'll be there again this year. Uh, now I'm going to do one of my favorite things and that is take a piece of wood and this one, as I said, it's 40,000 years old. I'm going to turn it back into a tree. And of course, there's no need to measure any of any tree that you make because uh, all trees are different shapes and sizes. And there we have it, a little tree 
Uh, so after 40,000 years, it's been turned back into a tree. Uh, I just love it. So it can bring joy to people once again. So remember this, wood is good. For further information on World Wood Day, go to worldwoodday.org. Thanks for watching. part of my studio here in the southeast of England. Uh, my name is Bill Prickett and I've been a professional woodcarver now for over 25 years and it's been my pleasure to have taken part in several of the uh, previous World Wood Day events. Now World Wood Day itself is an annual event which takes place around the 21st of March each year and its aim is to highlight the importance of wood in all its forms as a renewable resource. Now each year a theme is chosen around which events are based and a conversation is opened about a particular aspect of why wood is good. Now the theme for 2021 is CO2 and wood. The fact that sustainable forests and the products made from them are an incredible storage system for atmospheric carbon. Now World Wood Day is celebrated on the 21st of March and from then until the 21st of May we will be presenting a series of online videos covering general information on wood carving as well as some special demonstrations from selected international wood carvers and incorporating this year's theme of wood and CO2. Another opportunity to get involved is to take part in this year's wood carving community show. This is open to all wood carvers all over the world and it encompasses all styles of the wood carving art. Your submission should relate to this year's theme of wood and CO2. Another opportunity to get involved with World Wood Day yourself would be to take part in the Tree of Hope collaborative project. It will involve wood carvers from all over the world producing small carvings. These carvings can be produced in relief or in 3D. Participants are encouraged to document their creative process using images and short videos that can be shared on our social network. Now for further information, please visit the website at www.worldwoodday.org. Thank you very much for watching. このようにハンドルを回して動かすからくり人形のことです。これまでワールドトゥデーではフォークアート部門の一員として世界中のいろんな街でオートマトの展示をしたりワークショップを行ってきました。今年のワールドトゥデイはオンライン上で開催されます。そしてオートマタ部門が新設されることになりました。世界中の素晴らしいオートマタ作家たちが今回のワールドトゥデイのテーマである僕は今ワールドトゥデイのいろんなグループを題材にしたオートマタのシリーズを作っているところです。これは途中ですが、ちょっと動かしてみましょう。今年のワールドトゥデイはオンライン上で開催されるということはつまり世界中のどこからでもアクセスできるということになりますぜひあなたもワールドトゥデイをお楽しみくださいイベントスケジュールなどはワールドトゥデイの<笑><笑><笑>
メモタイトでご確認いただきます<笑>それではワールドと出会いましょうウッドイツグーッ Hello, everyone. Welcome to World Wood Day 2021. I'm Nozomi Ishii, a paper craft artist living in Tokyo, Japan. I have been participated in World Wood Day 2018 in Cambodia and Laos. Many people, both children and adults, participated in the workshop to make wrapping birds, and each of them made a unique bird. Their innocent smiles were charming and made me happy. I usually make paper automata. Paper automata is paper class that work with mechanism. Two dimensional sheets of paper. Become three dimensional objects and we can move them. World Wood Day in this year has launched a new The Paper Craft program. We will be able to watch the works and videos of making process by paper craft artists in the world through and online. I'm so excited. The theme this year is carbon dioxide and wood. I'd like to propose that the works with waste paper, such as old magazines, calendars, and empty boxes, in order to protect the precious resource of wood. Also, we will conduct the online workshop. I'd like to ask participants to make one tree per person with waste paper and take a picture of own piece and send me it. Then I'm going to Combine the collected photos of a tree into one art piece forest. We can participate in World Wood Day from anywhere all over the world. I hope many people will enjoy it. Thank you for watching this video and please keep in mind Wood is good. See you! Welcome everyone to the World Wood Day 2021 virtual music events. Although we regret that we cannot meet in person, we are delighted to being able to reach an audience from all over the world. The music event will take place on several occasions in March, May and July. It will consist of pre-recorded performances entitled My Forest, live stream concerts, including interaction with online audiences and mashup events where musicians from different countries will collaborate. So see you there at the World Wood Day Virtual Music Festival and remember, wood is good! Hello, I'm Su Jinling. It's my pleasure to greet you 
a happy World Day and happy International Day of Forest. To welcome World Day 2021, my team just finished the tree planting last week in Beijing of China. Many family members joined us, especially children. We're so happy to see how they all enjoyed and valued the event. Tree planting program is an essential part of World Day celebrations. For the past eight years, we have planted trees at every main celebration venue and some of the sideline events. With the theme CO2 and wood this year for virtual celebration, we encourage people to plant trees throughout the whole year in their own area. No matter how big group or small of the participants, no matter it is March or September, what the number of trees you planted, or even a momentous one, plant the trees at any time that is right at your side, in compliance with your country's or region's guidelines. The important thing is the message we send by our action and the ideas shared by more and more people that wood is an eco-friendly and renewable biomaterials that has contributed greatly to our life, to our culture, and to our sustainable world future. We would like to invite all businesses and individuals alike to plant a tree if you can, or pass the message to people around you how awesome the woods are. Share the pictures and videos with us on World Wood Day social media. We would love to know. Finally, take good care of you, all my friends. And take some time to reconnect with nature, with wood, because wood is good. Welcome to World Wood Day 2021 Virtual Symposium. Symposium has always been an important program for World Wood Day. This year, we have about 50 scholars from more than 40 countries to join us for a 16-hour live streaming event. Please tune in to our Symposium YouTube channel. Go to the World Wood Day 2021 Symposium website for our detailed broadcasting schedule. For the past World Wood Day events, we have documented each year and created numerous videos. Our teams have visited continents and captured precious wood cultures and astonishing imageries. We have held video contests and received more than 100 submissions all around the world. In the future, we look forward to your participation. Share your story with us. Become part of us. Since 2016, Wood Design is a proud member of the World Wood Day community. In past events, we have experimented with the use of both wood and non-timber forest products and created various presentations. For the coming year, we anticipate more creative approaches with World Wood Day 2021. In Lebanon, we built a wooden classroom. In Nepal, we assembled a traditional pavilion and a memorial stupa. In the USA, we created a temple bus, which was running on the road. In Austria, we reconstructed a duplication of a historical water mill. Wood has played a significant role in architecture from the past and will continue in the future. We will keep exploring the possibilities of wood architecture. Other fantastic World Wood Day 2021 programs are wood furniture, wood education, and folk art and craftsmanship workshop. More wonderful events are coming for the rest of the year. Visit our website, worldwoodday.org 2021, or follow us on our social media to stay updated. Once again, welcome to World Wood Day. And don't forget, wood is good.